I love making s'mores in a jar, but something that I used to do when I was a kid was make banana boat s'mores. They're easy, delicious, and melt in your mouth good. So all you need to make these are bananas, Reese's peanut butter cups, and marshmallows. So all you do is slice your banana down lengthwise, and you actually wanna get the entire banana so that you're splitting the banana in half. So you're gonna expose that banana, but it's a boat, so you don't wanna rip it apart. So now we're gonna fill it with little Reese's peanut butter cups, which I've cut into four little triangles. Just kinda of stuff them in there. Now when you go camping, you actually wrap this up in aluminum foil and put it on the campfire for a couple minutes, but if you're at home, you just put it into the oven and let it melt that way. All right, see how yummy that looks? Then you get all these little baby mini marshmallows, fill them in every little crevice so that they melt evenly. So that when you eat it, you just get a spoonful of the banana, the chocolate, the peanut butter, and then the marshmallow. All right, so now you have one banana boat made. Wrap it in aluminum foil. And you wanna wrap it really tight, just like a burrito. Little banana boat. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of these. So if peanut butter isn't your thing, you could put anything in here. Cookie butter, Nutella, almonds, mint. What I like about making banana boat s'mores is that they're really simple to make. You don't have to worry about messing with the fire. You know, with s'mores, you really have to be careful about burning the marshmallows. If you get too close to the fire, you might get burned. These, you just make them, set it in there, and then it's instant dessert. So now I'm just gonna pop this into the oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes or until the marshmallows and chocolate are melted. Look how yummy this looks. The banana is nice and melty, look at that. The Reese's peanut butter cup and the marshmallow. Oh, I just wanna get everything. Mmm, this is the kind of dessert that makes you dance. It's so good. Oh. Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and check out my other videos. I just finished making s'mores in a jar three ways. And don't forget to subscribe to Pop Sugar Girl's Guide. I'm Brainy, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.